Hey guys, what is going on? It's Ed the Urban Researcher here, and welcome to my crayfish tank setup tutorial. So today we're going to be talking about the Australian red claw crayfish. This tutorial, however, would apply to any other sort of large crayfish or even a lobster if you happen to get your hands on them. Crayfish need roughly a 30 centimeter square space to live in. It's not actually the volume of the tank that's important, it's actually just the square footprint on the ground that's important when you're choosing a tank for your crayfish. So let's get into the shopping list. So obviously to start with you need a tank. You're also going to need a selection of hides. I chose some bogwood, some coconuts and a catfish hide, but you can also use rocks. You're going to need some filter foam slash pads, a section of 12 millimeter aquarium pipe, an aquarium heater, an aquarium pump, you're going to need some aquarium sand, roughly 25 kilograms, some ceramic filter media, a small section of wire mesh plus a plastic sponge, and finally a sheet of acrylic plus some aquarium safe silicon. So in this build I decided to go with a baffle to enclose my heater and my aquarium pump. This is because crayfish are excellent escape artists and therefore I wanted to house any of the pipes and the heaters away from which a place where the crayfish could use those cables to try to climb out of the tank. As you can see from here, the first section is where the media goes, the second section is where the heater goes, and the third section is where the pump goes to pump the water back out. This design is not my own, but inspired by a video by the King of DIY. I'll link his tutorial below. So now that you have your filter and heater side of your aquarium installed, you're going to need to add your sand. If you've bought pre-washed aquarium sand you can go away and add it straight away however if you haven't bought pre-washed sand you're going to need to give it a few rinses before adding it to your aquarium. The large region of sand at the bottom of the tank is to allow the crayfish to burrow and make small dens underneath their hides. You probably could add about up to six centimeters of sand and that would suffice. You're then going to want to add water to the aquarium using a bowl to prevent the sand from being displaced. As you can see there are now some air bubbles caught within the sand. To displace these you're going to need to move your hand around through the sand to break them open. Finally fill the water all the way up to the top and add your hides. And now you've just got to wait for your tank to cycle. Some people may want to add some aquarium start so this is easily picked up at any fish shop. This is about three weeks later and you can see my tank is now completely cycled and I am doing my first water change. The colour of the water is due to the bogwood because it gives off a natural dye. This colour will remain in your water if you use bogwood for many months as you gradually leach out all of the colour from the bogwood. Once you've also done your water change, remove your filter media and rinse it in some of the aquarium water and then replace 50% with new and 50% with old filter media. If you can't find crayfish at your local aquarium store, order them from a reputable source online. I live in the UK and I ordered mine from It's A Fishy Business. I'll put a link to them in the description. They are a invertebrate specialist based in Cornwall. So when my crayfish arrived, they had been in their box for about a day. So they were a little bit ratty. So I tried to get them out as quickly as possible and I popped them in the aquarium. And you wanna leave them there for about 20 to 30 minutes. Because they'd been in there for a very long time, I didn't want to do the gradual water changes. I just wanted to get them straight into the tank. Due to the fact they'd been in a really small space on top of each other for a day, they were extremely crabby when I tried to get them out. So I decided to use chopsticks to remove them. You can do this by grabbing them on the main part of their body, not on their tail, as that's the point in which you can pick them up from. If you want to do this by hand, feel free as well. It's just they were, they continuously try to jump everywhere and I was, did not want to lose one down the side of my aquarium. Crayfish in general are herbivores and while there are specialist foods available, you can feed them on basic vegetables like peas, courgette or even seaweed. But commercially bought sinking algae pellets for catfish would also be suitable or specialist crayfish pellets. You remember that having a varied number of hides is really important as crayfish are territorial and will scuffle a little. Finally, crayfish are great escape artists, so I decided to put a grow bag tray on the top and weight it down with some wood to prevent them from being able to climb out or swim out. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please feel free to leave a cheeky thumbs up. I'm also going to be doing monthly updates on my crayfish aquarium, so please also consider hitting that subscribe button to get notifications of those videos. And finally, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. This is The Urban Researcher, signing out.